we compared those knowing someone with a medical marijuana license to those not knowing someone with a medical marijuana license, those knowing reported more favorable attitudes, opinions, availability, less perceived harmfulness about marijuana, more frequent marijuana use. We see kids every day who are extremely addicted to marijuana. They are dropping out of life about this. They are dropping out of school, out of their families, and they are ex very addicted and cannot stop. So we know that when you um, have something widely available, legalized like this, it's very difficult to keep it out of the hands of kids and it really um, costs society a lot. Middle schoolers are exactly the age group we'd expect to be most affected by changing norms and customs around marijuana use. Because, why? Because they're in this concrete stage of moral development where they take their guidance about what's right and wrong from the rules, the clear kind of black and white rules like that. So that's the age group most affected. 60% of all new users of marijuana are kids, right? And we know that kids are especially vulnerable to the detrimental effects of marijuana exposure because of their developing adolescent brain. So adolescents who are exposed to marijuana have a greater drop in IQ from age 13 to 38 compared to those not exposed, up to eight points. Adolescent exposure to marijuana confers a greater risk of developing psychosis in young adulthood. I would encourage people to think um, when they vote about this, when they go to the polls, what's good for kids?